Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a reading vlog and it is going to be for Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo and this is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. So I decided to do a reading vlog for this book because it is on my 21 books I want to read in 2021. So this is going to be the first installment in that series. So I actually picked this one because I'm in a discord and we decided to read this for the first book this month and normally when I do vlogs like this I am going to draw the book that I'm going to be reading and if I own it then I will just start it and if I don't then I will pick it up then start it and so I will take y'all like with me along for the journey but I did already own this one so I will be starting this one I think I'm getting ready to start it right now actually I'm already like in my like, sweatpants and like sweatshirt and, like I'm already like super cozy and ready to get some reading done so I think I'm just gonna turn on like one of the ASMR rooms or something like the rain in the background and stuff like that and then just start reading and just read for the rest of the day and then periodically I will update you guys on my thoughts and I'll probably update you guys probably every like 50 pages or so just to kind of let you guys know what, how I'm feeling, what my thought process is, what's happening and things like that and this is actually going to be a spoiler vlog so if you do not want to be spoiled for the events of this book then I suggest not watching the rest of it but if you do not care about spoilers or you've read it already and you want to see all my thoughts then please continue to watch this video and yeah so with that being said I think I'm gonna get to reading. Hey guys so it's a little bit later and I actually haven't started Shadow and Bone because I did end up watching TikTok for a really long time and then I thought I was gonna take a nap but then I couldn't fall asleep so here I am and it's been like two or three hours and I'm finally getting ready to start Shadow and Bone so I took the dust jacket off just so I can read it and I think I'm gonna sit here for just a few minutes before like moving back to my bed and reading for a little bit just to kind of like I feel like try and like maximize the awakeness I guess of right now and yeah so as of right now I want to at least read 50 pages I think which is okay well that's not the end of the chapter so I at least want to make chapter four so that's gonna be the goal right now and so yeah I think I am going to start reading this and I will like I said, I'll continue to just like update you guys every once in a while, like probably like every 50 pages or so, maybe even less than that because this isn't that long of a book. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to get to reading now instead of just like talking. So, Okay, so I just finished like the first little section, like before chapter one, like the prelogue, but it's called like before. And so far, like I'm a little bit confused I guess because like I read Six of Crows before and literally in that it was basically like so there's Grisha in Six of Crows but in that it's basically like everyone's like afraid of the Grisha and like they're like locked away and they're like slaves and stuff but like so far in this like are people like going around looking for the Grisha to take them to like a school for them to like learn their powers and stuff so I don't know if the Grisha are supposed to be like higher ups or something better than like normal people um so yeah as of right now that's where we're at but I wonder if like they started out as like being like good and then transformed into being like not good and people being like scared of them for them to like be trapped and stuff for like how they are in Six of Crows. I don't know it's just a thought so yeah I'm gonna get back to reading I'm on ch page eight so that's like the start of chapter one so maybe it will explain some things a little bit more once I start reading a little bit further hey 
Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. I ended up not getting as far in Shadow and Bone as I wanted to last night. I just feel like I wasn't really like that into the reading mood. Plus, I started to get really tired, so I ended up not really picking it up. But I would like to pick it up some today and see about reading that for a little while. Um, I do want to do a few things around the house today as well and try and get as much reading done as I can in it because I am falling behind. There was like a schedule that we were technically like well we didn't have to follow it but there was like a, a suggested schedule like in the discord and clearly I'm behind because we're supposed to be on like chapter 13 this week and I'm barely on chapter 2. So I do want to try and get a little bit of reading done in that today. Um, I do have a few errands that I have to run as well so we will see how much reading I get done but hopefully it'll be more than I'm thinking. So with that being said I'm going to try and do some reading for right now and then I will probably update you guys a little bit later when I get a little bit further into the book. <laughs> so it's a little bit later I'm not as far into this as I was hoping I was going to be by now. I literally only just started reading probably about 20 minutes ago and I made it to the like 50 page-ish mark um, so I'm on chapter 4 now and basically what happened was like a lot. Okay so they were on the ship and they were getting ready to cross the fold which is basically like this like sea they call it the unsea and it's basically like this like river kind of thing of just straight up like darkness and like you can't see it like you can't see through it like there's these like creatures in there they're called bulkra and they like attack you and the only way for you to like survive is like with light but even then if they kill you obviously you're not going to get through it because it takes light to get through and like the sun and not just like firelight so basically they're on the ship and they're going across the fold but then they get attacked by the volcra or whatever and mal she's on the same ship as mal and of course mal gets hurt and of course she's like only thinking about mal and so she like goes to help him and she like crouches over him and then she like bursts into like light basically is what happened and then she like knocks out and she wakes up and there's like a gun in her face and she's like what the heck like what's going on like where's mal yada yada they take her to the darkling so we did meet the darkling and the whole time she's like where's mal she's like i don't understand why i'm in trouble but like where's mal and she's like literally like obsessed like she's literally obsessed with him and like i don't get it but so basically the darkling puts his hand on her and like cuts her arm and makes her like burst into light and so he like takes her like he technically doesn't really like kidnap her because the army like gave her to him but he literally was like you're Grisha now so like you're coming with me take her to the little palace and like make sure she's guarded at all time like don't stop for any reason like and so they're taking her there and that's pretty much where I left off so she's something called a sun summoner it seems and some of the, some of the things are kind of starting to come back to me like as I'm reading it but I'm thinking like she is the only one who can like stop the darkling because I'm pretty sure that the darkling is like the creator of the unsee or the fold or whatever you want to call it so I think it's him. He wants her because she's the only one who can like stop him. Because so far what I can tell is there's like a king and then there's like the Darkling. But I'm not sure if like the king and the Darkling are like the same person. Or if the Darkling's like working for the king or like what. And I don't really understand why they're trying to get like across the fold. And like why people try to cross the fold and stuff like that. So maybe if I just like keep reading then I can like learn some more. But I do want to read a little bit more before I go to bed. Um, unfortunately I do have to work tomorrow so I don't know when the next time I'll be able to update this vlog is. But for right now I'm just gonna read as much as I can before I decide to go to bed. Okay so I just got to the part where it says for hundreds of years the shadow fold has been doing our enemies work closing off our ports choking us making us weak. If you're truly a sun summoner then your power could be the key to opening up the fold or maybe even destroying it. And then it's like Ferda and the Shuhan won't just stay and fight and let that happen. So I'm guessing those are like the enemies. And so I think, okay, and I could be like wrong on this or I could totally be right. But like I think that the enemies like aren't actually enemies. Like I think they are enemies but like of the Darkling. Because the Darkling created the fold because like 
he can like it literally said like in the last chapter when he was doing like the like testing her to see if she was a sun summoner that he like could control like and it was like black liquid like came out of his hand or whatever and like made the whole room go dark so like plus it says that he's like really powerful and old so why would he not be behind the unsee why would he not be the one controlling the fold like you know and he is taking her because she's the only one that can literally stop it or like whatever so these are like literally just theories but like i also feel like i'm kind of right but we'll see i guess okay so it says that he's an amplifier and but like he won't say what that means like obviously I believe it would be like to amplify powers or whatever when he comes in contact with it but like he has his own power like I'm literally convinced like you can't tell me otherwise I don't I don't know okay it literally just said the darkling is a living amplifier that's what he felt like the claws that's his power one of his powers okay okay so basically they're taking her to his castle or whatever and she's in the carriage and they get attacked and there's like a tree like in the middle of the road and so she's like running because obviously like everyone's fighting and stuff and this guy like tackles her and stuff and then she like hears like horses like coming and then she says like um a group of riders roared into the glen their kefka streaming red and blue their hands blazing fire and thunder the lead rider was dressed in black so obviously that's the darkling because only the darkling wears black but like i literally even though even though i know he's probably like a really bad guy like i'm obsessed with him already like i will probably be trash for the darkling but like it's fine okay the guy literally goes he will not have this power too so does he like steal powers like i feel like there's literally just so much to like unwrap like i like my brain is like i feel like my brain's going like a thousand miles per hour like i just feel like so much could be it like i'm literally oh. pages in and I'm actual trash for him already like he's literally been in like two scenes he like has already chopped a man in half and he says clear the road I need 20 riders the girl I've been asked rides with me are you are you kidding are you kidding like wow wow literally everything this man says like I'm obsessed with it like ugh, like I like I literally cannot so they're leaving the glen after like he killed that guy and stuff and he goes you're shaking i'm not really used to people trying to kill me really i hardly notice anymore and that literally like that's just so funny to me like i don't know why but that's that's just so funny to me literally i understand okay because when i read this like years and years and years ago like i remember absolutely being in love with the darkling and like i can understand why like hello this man is like everything right now like i literally cannot okay this is like a side note but like i wish that there was like a pronunciation guide because some of the words in here i'm literally like like what i don't know so half the words in here i'm like literally skipping over them because i don't I have zero idea on how to pronounce them so but I'm gonna read a little bit more and then I think I'm gonna go to bed so because I'm on page 78 79 and I would like to get to page 100 which is like the end of chapter 6 and I think I'm on chapter 5 okay so now they're like sitting around the fire and they're like kind of talking and like bonding I guess and so we're getting kind of a look into like the Grishovers, I guess you could say, and so so it says the Kirch sell us as slaves. So I'm thinking that like that's like the part of the country where like Kaz and them live. Like 
and six of crows because it's all like set in the same world and stuff but like obviously it's been a while since I read six of crows so I don't exactly remember like the name of the town and stuff that they were living in but I did know that like if you were a Grisha then like you were like a slave so I guess in this town that they like live in uh Ravka or Ravka or whatever they treat the Grisha like royalty and so a lot of the Grisha are like immigrating over to like Ravka so basically he tells her that his like great great grandfather was the one who created the fold but like I don't believe that for like one second like I think it was him because he says that he was like 120 years old and we don't know how long uh, the fold has been like there and stuff so I'm thinking that he created it like I know that he is a bad guy and like I know that he is terrible but yet I'm living for it so like what does that say about me as a person okay so i know that i said that i was gonna try and make it to page 100 before i go to bed but i feel like i'm stopping on page 88 because i feel like right now it is a good place to stop because i feel like if i keep going then i'll just like want to read more and then i'll never go to bed because i have to go to work tomorrow but um so i think i'm gonna stop here she just got to the little castle or the little palace or whatever it's called with the darkling and they took her to her room and it's like at the top of this tower and she had to climb all these stairs and she was like oh i'm just so tired but there was like this maid waiting for her and the maid was like lock your door like make sure you lock your door and she was like what and the maid was like as a precaution and she was like as a precaution for what and then she literally just like locks her door and then just like goes to bed and so now she's like knocked out and so i feel like if i continue reading then i feel like i'll get like sucked in and then i'll just like keep reading and reading and reading and i really need to go to bed because it's like 10 20 right now i think that is where i'm going to stop for tonight on page 89 so i'm gonna update my goodreads really quickly and then go to bed <laughs> I will update you guys probably a little bit later. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. I'll just update you guys like the next time that I pick this up. Hey guys, so it's been probably about two weeks since the last time I updated the vlog on Shadow and Bone, but I haven't really been reading since then. Um, but I have been reading a little bit today and I did hit the 50 page mark for me to like update the vlog on my reading. So basically what has happened in this is, uh, so I remember the last time I talked to you guys, I think she had just gotten to the little palace and then she was going to bed or something. So since that happened, basically she met the king and showed the king like her power like with the darkling and then she has started her classes like i guess she's going to be going to like grisha school because she wasn't raised as a grisha so now she has to like learn everything that the grisha know because she's now a grisha and the darkling offered her to wear black for her kafka and he's the only one who wears black so it was like this like huge honor or whatever but she was like no i want to wear blue so now she wears blue robes which is the color of i believe it's the color of the blacky corporal lackey um and so they were blue and so she's wearing blue because i think they're summoners i think so yeah that's basically where i'm at so i'm currently on page 100 and 45. I have not been reading this very quickly. Um, I just haven't really been in the mood to like physically read a book recently so I haven't really picked anything up lately but I am going to try and pick this one up a little bit more. Hopefully I can pick this up sometime this weekend maybe. I'm going to try and make sure to get all my homework done this week so I can pick it up this weekend and do maybe like a 24 hour readathon this weekend where I focus solely on getting this read because I'm not quite halfway through it but I'm close to halfway. I'll probably just keep updating you guys like every 50 pages so I'm on page 145 right now so that would be almost at page 200 and honestly it might be like a little bit more than 50 pages because I want to just like end the chapter. Obviously if it's 50 pages it's in the middle of the chapter that I'm going to go to the end of the chapter so I think that's going to be it for this update. I know I've probably been just like talking randomly but um 
I don't know if I'm going to do any more reading tonight. It's currently 10 o'clock and I do have to go to work tomorrow. So I think I might actually go to bed here pretty soon. Maybe I will end up taking this with me to work tomorrow and maybe picking it up on my lunch break. I did download the ebook version of it so that way I can read it on my phone as well. So I think that's going to be it for this update. I'm going to stop talking now and um, probably get ready to go to bed. So I will probably update you guys the next time I end up picking this up. Hey guys, so I honestly do not remember the last time that I've talked to you at this point, but um, I am going to be doing some reading of Shadow and Bone today. Um, I have been reading just a little bit of it for the past like 10-15 minutes or something and thought that I should just go ahead and update the vlog. So I'm not exactly sure where I left off, but I do know that what's happened so far since the last time that I've updated you guys is um, she's at the little palace and she's been going to her classes and she hasn't really been doing super awesome in her classes she's like really struggling and she's just like having a really hard time and she's really missing Mal of course and the darkling is like basically nowhere to be found but she's just been kind of going through it and this girl just came her name's Zoya and she is literally so mean like I don't know what happened there but um I'm at the part where she was in their fighting class and they're fighting and Zoya comes in and the teacher like pairs them together and Zoya uses her powers on Elena which is like a no-no in the class and so the teacher like kicked her out of the class and sent her to the Darkling and then she like left Darkling's office like crying and now Elena's like in the infirmary and she is talking to her two friends well, I guess her friends, I don't know, Marie and Nadia, and they're just kind of like telling her like what happened after she uh, left the class and why she was knocked out by like carpenters and stuff like that. So that's just kind of where I'm at, but yeah, so obviously I know this isn't really technically like a love story, but I literally ship Elena and the Darkling like so hard. Like I want them to be together. Like I don't know if that's like something that's supposed to happen but I would really like for it to happen and obviously I know he's not like the best guy you know but I feel like I feel like he could be you know it reminds me of this tweet that I saw and I retweeted it and I'll put it on the screen but it literally just says villain not bad villain need a hug and like I feel like that's the dark thing like I feel like he just needs a hug you know I don't know but yeah so I think that's gonna be it for this little bit of an update right now I think I am gonna get some more reading done and then I want to eat dinner soon because it's like 5 30 right now and I just kind of want to read some more and maybe I can get like a pretty big chunk of this knocked out. I'm going to continue reading a little bit more and I will update you guys a little bit later. So I have been reading some more of Shadow and Bone and I'm currently on page 199 so I'm about 200 pages which is more than halfway and so basically what happens is she was in the inf infirmary and some like guy came and like scared the crap out of her and was like talking all this nonsense about I don't even know but he was just like really creepy and kind of weird and so then she like went back to her room and then she was just kind of going on about her like days and stuff and then she goes to Berga I think is her name she goes to Bagra who is like um her teacher for like her power for summoning her powers and stuff and so she goes to her class and while she's in there like obviously she's having like really hard time summoning her powers and stuff and so while she's in there she finally like realizes the reason that they weren't able to tell that she was a Krisha like earlier is because like when they were testing for her powers her and Mal were together but then they like got split up and she like realized 
that Mal was like different from her so she like pushed her power down and she's literally been pushing her power down every day like since which is why she's ended up being so skinny and like why she has bags under her eyes all the time and she's like so tired and stuff all the time is because she's literally using all of her energy to push her power down and so then she realizes that that's what's happening and it was like a very powerful scene and she's like talking to her power and she's like I'm so sorry that I like pushed you down I'm sorry but I'm ready now and then her like power like comes forth and she like lets out this light and it's honestly honestly it was very powerful very beautiful I absolutely loved it and then so she starts realizing that she has a grip now kind of on her power and so she starts being less tired she starts to gain weight she stops being so skinny she's like start resting better she can sleep better and things like that and she's starting to do well in her classes like she's stronger and just doing better all around so then the darkling comes and he's like we need a stag horn that you're gonna wear as a necklace to amplify your power and people think that it's just like a legend and a myth and whatever and that it's not actually real but the darkling believes that it's real and that if he can find it and give it to her then her powers will be amplified and then she'll be strong enough to take on the fold and be able to get rid of it all together so then they have that conversation and then she's been kind of going on again she like finally sees herself and realizes that she's not so skinny and stuff anymore and then she is going to her second lesson with Bagra and she is late of course but then the darkling comes and he's like talking to her and then he kisses her and yeah literally we love like he kissed her and it was just it was good like she wasn't thinking about mal finally like i just don't love mal because she's been writing him and he hasn't been writing back but i feel like someone's been taking her letters and hasn't actually been sending them to him but the darkling and her kissed and then she's like feeling all the butterflies and things from it and so she's like trying to distract herself but then she like keeps thinking about the kiss and then at this point she literally just um was in her room and she was thinking about the kiss and it like broke her concentration so she couldn't focus and so now she's just like lying in darkness and so basically that's what just happened okay so i have been reading some more and i haven't hit the 50 page mark but i thought i need to update you guys because bagra has just come with the tea okay so basically what happened was so he had kissed her or whatever and then there was like this ball that they were going to for the king and then there's like everyone was like showing their powers and performing and whatever whatever okay yeah cool great awesome so he takes her into this like back room or whatever and then he like starts like making out with her and he's like can i come see you tonight and she like takes too long so he just leaves and we're like okay so no and then she's going back to the party and everyone's like oh my gosh some summoner uh, like whatever okay and so then she's like she wants to leave and so she's leaving just going back like to her room and she sees mal so mal is like at the castle or the little palace or whatever because he was bringing intel back to the darkling and like reporting like some intel of the stag that they were looking for and so she sees mal and of course she's like mal oh my gosh like i missed you and mal's like mm, yeah girl like you're not the same she's like her feelings are hurt of course and then she like goes back to her room and they like and she starts like crying and he like leaves and then she's like sitting in her room and she's just like, sobbing so then background comes to her room and like gets her like knocks on the door and it's like hey like you need to come with me like right now and like takes her down into like this room like probably like in the basement somewhere and it's like all right sis so here's the tea i'm his mother and um he's the one that created the fold um he wants to use you to expand the fold because the bulkra in the fold were a side effect of him creating the fold and it's actually really him and he has faked his death and reincarnated or like recome back or been reborn whatever and he's gonna use you to get rid of the fulcra so he can expand the fold so he can rule everything and i know all this because i'm his mother and 
yeah at that stag that he's hunting for you to get that amplifier it's really not just going to be a necklace it's going to be a collar and he'll be able to control you because you'll be the most powerful Grisha ever and then he'll use you and of course Elena is like this lady is crazy but then she shows her that she has the same power as a darkling and then she starts to realize that the darkling had lied to her because she had asked him before if he knew what Bagger's power was and he said no and then she starts putting things together and it's like okay when I started talking to him about it by the lake he kissed me to shut me up and she was like you know what I'm not gonna make it easy for him if he wants to control me I'm not gonna make it easy for him so she asked back her and she's like well, what do I need to do so she's getting ready to run and she's getting ready to flee from the darkling and so yeah dude is like evil which I mean like we knew that and I thought like from the jump I was like yeah I don't believe for one second that he didn't create the fold but it's also because I've read this before so it's like pieces are like coming back and I'm like this is what I feel like happened so I'm like right I guess so yeah but I'm still rooting for him I still hope that they end up together does that make me crazy I just feel like I don't know I feel like it can work out for them you know like honestly so yeah that's where we're at I'm currently on chapter 16 which is 242 I have one more chapter until my 50 page mark which is actually one of the pages because I just like to end it like at the end of the chapter so thinking I might actually stop reading here tonight but honestly the tea is piping right now and I kind of want to read some more but I know I need to get ready to go to bed because I have to go to work tomorrow so I don't know decisions decisions but so far I'm really liking this I think it's at like a four star for me right now like I don't know I have been having a really hard time getting through it and like actually picking it up um, but I think that's just me but I'm gonna try and see if I can read some more of it tomorrow like on my lunch break at work I'm gonna take it with me to work maybe because I downloaded the ebook of it as well so maybe I'll just be able to read it a little bit of it on my phone but yeah so I've literally been talking for like seven minutes now so I'm gonna go and I will update you guys again a little bit later. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since the last time I updated you guys, but the last time I updated you guys, Elena was getting ready to run away. So I'm getting ready to pick it up and hopefully I can finish it today. I have approximately 114 pages left so I think I can knock that out in a couple of hours and I will update you guys again when I get to like a later point in the book in like another 50 ish or so pages and then I believe we'll have two updates maybe and then I'll be done and I'm really excited to finish this I feel like the ending is gonna really kind of throw me based on just this gut feeling that I have from the last time that I read it I feel like I remember the ending being very surprising to me and maybe it just won't be surprising to me because I've read it before so then I just like kind of will like know I am going to get to reading and then I'll probably update you guys here in just a little bit okay guys so I am on my last leg of shadow and bone I have approximately 65 pages left so I think I'll be able to crank it out and get it finished tonight um so basically nothing has really been going on she's just been kind of been on the run and so she fleed from the little palace and she was on the run by herself for a little while and then she made it about a week before she was almost caught she was on the run from some soldiers and then Mal ends up finding her in the woods and they end up running away together but he basically just helps her like on with her journey I guess you could say and so that's basically what's been happening and now they're looking for the stag to see if they can find the stag before the darkling can so that way she can kill it instead of the darkling killing it or something and then that way she can like take the darkling down and she's made Mal promise that he will kill her if 
the Darkling catches up to them and finds them and that he won't let the Darkling put the horns around her neck and I think in her brain she just came up with like this plan to try and like stop the Darkling or something I don't know but it's been kind of boring so I'm assuming that since it's been kind of boring that it's gonna pick up here soon and then it's probably gonna leave some kind of cliffhanger so we'll see if that's what ends up happening but like I said I have around 65 pages left so I think I'm just going to go ahead and crank that out. I will update you guys again, I guess, when I'm finished. Okay, so I just finished Shadow and Bone. And I believe that I'm going to be giving it four stars. So basically what happened since last time that I updated you guys was... So her and Mal were on the run and they were looking for the stag that had the magical horns to be her like amplifier. So they found the stag and they went up to it and she was supposed to kill it so that way she could be in control of the stag's power. However, she hesitated and couldn't kill it. So at this point, the Darkling comes and kills it and takes Mal as a hostage. So now the Darkling has found Elena and Mal and the stag and the Darkling has killed the stag so now he has the power to control the amplifier and so he gets a fabricator to turn it into a necklace but it's actually a collar or whatever and put it around her neck and now he's able to control her power and she has no control over her own power. So she had asked Mal earlier to promise to kill her if the Darkling found them and of course Mal couldn't do it and so the Darkling got them and then the Darkling takes them back to their like hometown or like the it's not really their hometown but it's like the town that's closest to the fold and they're like staying there for a couple days and they're waiting for these other people to like come so that way he can like show off what he can do or whatever and so then he takes Elena and Mal and like all these people like into the fold to get Elena to use the power that he now controls to light a path across the fold into West Ravka for him to expand the fold into West Ravka to take that city and like completely wipe it off the map. So Elena is like, I can't believe I just did this. Oh my gosh, like I can't, like I literally cannot. And so then the Darkling's like, this is, we're no longer at war. Everyone listens to me. I'm in charge, you know, on his high horse, whatever. And then Elena's still freaking out because she's like, I can't believe that that just happened. And then the Darkling asks for Ivan to bring Mal forward and tells Ivan to throw him over. And of course, Elena's like, no. And she's like distraught and stuff. And she's like, she's really upset about it, of course, because obviously we all know that she's like obsessed with him. But so the Darkling has him thrown over and then he still has control of her power so she has to rain in the light so she can't protect Belle anymore but then she realizes that she has control over her own power because while they were waiting to go into the fold she kept having these dreams about that stag that was killed to make the the necklace or the collar or whatever and she kept having dreams about it and she didn't really understand why but then in that moment this tag like came back to her and then she realized that she had control over her power because of the mercy that she showed the stag and so she was able to rein in her power from the darkling's control and use it to save Mal and she like chops the ship that they're on in half and like jumps off and like runs over to Mal and like scoops him up and they like leave out the fold and she like leaves everyone who was on their like ship like in the darkness like with the Volcra. It's basically just like dinner time you know and she like leaves with Mal and they like run. So now they're in West Ravka and they are selling off the gold pins that she had in her hair and then they burned the black Kefka that the Darkling had put on her and basically so now they're on the run again. And that's just basically kind of how it ended. They're waiting to hear if the Darkling was dead, but they never heard that. And obviously it doesn't seem like the Darkling is dead, which I just, I know he's not dead, but he was being a little jerk. He was, he was when he was like, um, 
yeah this is what's gonna happen if you don't do what I say and you're all gonna like die your desert that you love so much no more those mountains that you love so much mm -mm. none of that and so obviously they're all just like scared of him and stuff but honestly not mad at the ending I knew that because it was getting boring it had to like pick up there soon but honestly like it wasn't bad I'm giving it four stars I enjoyed it I did hate that it took me forever to finish it but I believe that I will be continuing on with the series. I don't think that I will be absolutely having to start it 100% right now, right this second. I need the second book. But I do believe that I will continue on with it. And I was going to do the drawing for my next book in this video. But I think I'm actually going to do it at the beginning of the next video. But I think that's going to be it for this video. If you have read Shadow and Bone, let me know down in the comments. What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? How did you feel about it? Are you excited for the Netflix show to come? I think that it's coming in April because it's currently February right now. And I think that comes out in April. So are you excited for it? Did you continue on with the series or did you just read the first one? You know, just let me know in the comments like what you guys thought about it and stuff. And yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to. You don't have to. It would be awesome if you did, though. Thank you so much for sitting through this video because I know that it was probably so long. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.